COVID-19, Best Strategies to Boost Immune System Helpful Ways to Strengthen Your Immune System and Fight Off Disease How can you improve your immune system? On the whole, your immune system does a remarkable job of defending you against disease-causing microorganisms. But sometimes it fails, a germ invades successfully and makes you sick. Is it possible to intervene in this process and boost your immune system? What if you improve your diet? Take certain vitamins or herbal preparations? Make other lifestyle changes in the hope of producing a near-perfect immune response? What can you do to boost your immune system? The idea of boosting your immunity is enticing, but the ability to do so has proved elusive for several reasons. The immune system is precisely that, a system, not a single entity. To function well, it requires balance and harmony. There is still much that researchers don't know about the intricacies and interconnectedness of the immune response. For now, there are no scientifically proven direct links between lifestyle and enhanced immune function. But that doesn't mean the effects of lifestyle on the immune system aren't intriguing and shouldn't be studied. Researchers are exploring the effects of diet, exercise, age, psychological stress, and other factors on the immune response, both in animals and in humans. In the meantime, general healthy living strategies are a good way to start giving your immune system the upper hand. Immunity in Action Immunity in Action A healthy immune system can defeat invading pathogens where two bacteria that cause gonorrhea are no match for the large phagocyte, called a neutrophil, that engulfs and kills them. Healthy Ways to Strengthen Your Immune System Your first line of defense is to choose a healthy lifestyle. Following general good health guidelines is the single best step you can take toward naturally keeping your immune system strong and healthy. Every part of your body, including your immune system, functions better when protected from environmental assaults and bolstered by healthy living strategies such as these. Don't smoke. Eat a diet high in fruits and vegetables. Exercise regularly. Maintain a healthy weight. If you drink alcohol, drink only in moderation. Get adequate sleep. Take steps to avoid infection, such as washing your hands frequently and cooking meats thoroughly. Try to minimize stress. Increase immunity the healthy way many products on store shelves claim to boost or support immunity. But the concept of boosting immunity actually makes little sense scientifically. In fact, boosting the number of cells in your body, immune cells or others, is not necessarily a good thing. For example, athletes who engage in blood doping, pumping blood into their systems to boost their number of blood cells and enhance their performance, run the risk of strokes. Attempting to boost the cells of your immune system is especially complicated. There are so many different kinds of cells in the immune system that respond to so many different microbes in so many ways. Which cells should you boost, and to what number? So far, scientists do not know the answer. What is known is that the body is continually generating immune cells. Certainly, it produces many more lymphocytes than it can possibly use. The extra cells remove themselves through a natural process of cell death called apoptosis, some before they see any action, some after the battle is won. No one knows how many cells or what the best mix of cells the immune system needs to function at its optimum level. People with compromised immunity are more vulnerable to succumbing to the COVID-19 infection. The World Health Organization WHO, believes that older people and those with pre-existing medical conditions are more vulnerable to being fatally infected with the virus. In the United States, there are 19,102 cases and 244 deaths, but no vaccines are available and the global contingency plans are sketchy at best. Hence, people have to boost their immunity on an individual level by taking care of themselves if they are battling the virus. While the milder cases recover within one or two weeks, the complicated cases take about six or more weeks to recover. However, researchers suggest that people could remain contagious weeks after they reported feeling well again. Since reports indicate that coronavirus could be transmitted via air particles and surfaces where they survive for hours, it is time we train our immune system to defend us against harmful viruses and bacteria. There are ways to naturally build an effective immune response in such a situation. Here is what you need to do, according to a recent article on mindbodygreen.com. Note, these are tips to only build immunity in general and are in no way suggesting a cure for coronavirus or a definite prevention method since there is currently no such evidence. Gut health. 
Since 80% of our immune system resides in the gut, it is important to strengthen it to improve our immunity. If you have a mild cold and you have been prescribed antibiotics, then you can also take a double dose of probiotics, especially ones with 30 billion colonies of the lactobacillus and bifidobacterium families of bacteria. Yogurt, kefir, kimchi, tempeh, kombucha and sauerkraut are some of the fermented foods that can be incorporated into the daily routine since consuming these foods could increase good gut bacteria. Three most important supplements. People without enough vitamin C are more prone to getting colds that last longer than usual. Having sufficient vitamin C could improve the immunity manifold since it kills free radicals and protects the body from severe infections. Dr. Heather Mode, allergist and immunologist, recommends taking 1,500 mg daily in powder form. It is also important to take supplements rich in zinc, an important antioxidant fighting free radicals. About 15 to 30 mg a day is recommended. In times of sickness, taking 2000 IU of vitamin D daily can help regulate the immune system and otherwise prevent autoimmune diseases. Mushrooms have antiviral properties. Mushrooms are more powerful than they are made out to be. Some of them have antiviral and anti-cancer properties. While reishi mushrooms cannot be cooked or eaten raw, they can be consumed in dried capsule or tincture forms. Shiitake mushrooms, on the other hand, have beta-glucans that improve white blood cell strength, which tend to increase during an infection. Maitake mushrooms help the immune system wash out bacteria. Capsules and tinctures of mushroom extracts can be found online or at certain stores. Take these natural superfoods. Raw garlic or concentrated allicin extract with antimicrobial and antiviral properties help kill yeast infections and bacterial growth in the small intestine. Incorporating this superfood in your daily, with just one garlic, could help build immunity. However, the WHO recently debunked the myth that eating garlic could prevent COVID-19 infection altogether, all it does is aid general immunity, provided you have a balanced diet and exercise well. Manuka honey works alongside antibiotics and aids their performance, either when applied topically or ingested. Oregano oil with antimicrobial, antiviral and antifungal properties can help beat yeast infections. Thank you for watching, let's boost our immune system and fight virus away.